Hello guys and welcome back to Dreaming Falcon. Another day, another adventure. Yes, and we are right now where we are in Munich and we are in train station Hofbahnhof and uh, we have half an hour to spend here because it's our new trip to the highest peak in Germany. Oh, wow. <laughs> so let's go. We are very excited and right now you will go and also uh, take our breakfast. We mm -hmm. will show you where we will eat, what you will eat and then we will see you in our next stop. Let's go. Let's go. spot which is uh, called California Beach, right? Exactly. And this breakfast place is known for its like more modern young wife and with a fusion breakfast which is more uh, like sandwiches which are like American style or you can like mix with some German wine. Yeah, yeah. We are in Munich so first. So yeah. It's still Maria yeah, and it's like more modern as, as American yeah, and style. it's a really cool cafe, very nice people, very welcoming and it has this light vibe. You can try different coffees, sandwiches, pancakes, lots of different things for you to try. We have ordered uh, two sandwiches. One is two toast, yeah. Yeah, toast sandwiches. One is with smoked salad and something. And one is with uh, grilled chicken. So we are excited. Along with that we have caramel macchiato and vanilla macchiato. So guys, right now we just had our breakfast and now we are going in the train which takes us to Garmash. So let's go inside the train exactly. and see you in Garbage. It will be a 1 hour and 30 minutes journey. This train also you can buy the Deutschland ticket if you want. It covers the uh, journey for the train. You also have special Garmisch offer where you can buy the ticket from Munich till Zugspeeds, everything included. But it can be a little bit expensive. I would yeah. suggest you to buy Deutschland ticket instead. No, it's just 50 euros. Yeah. the train after our amazing trip in mountains and we are in Garmisch and mm -hmm. uh, we have to walk for five minutes to take another train which will take us to Zugspitze, right? Yeah, Zugspitze Bahnhof. Yes. And from Zugspitze Bahnhof we'll catch a train. Yes, However, and not to Zugspitze but Bahnhof. <laughs> exactly. And I have to give you a small tip, trip tip I would say, like the whole trip in this train from Munich to Garmisch, I would suggest you to sit on the left side in the direction of the train because the view there is really amazing and it's worth it. You see a lot of lakes, you see a lot of mountains. And yeah, and beautiful river. Yes, it's breathtaking. Exactly. So right now we are walking towards the Zugspitz Bahnhof. See you there. See you guys. Guys, there you can see Zug Speed Sabanov, where you will have to take a Cogwheel Railway to Zug Speed Plateau and see this wonderful view, wonderful view. So guys, right now we are in the Bahnhof and Zug Speed Bahnhof, right? Yeah. And, uh, Unfortunately, we bought and book tickets before uh, coming here, but if you don't do this, then you will have to stand a long queue to the Kasse and uh, buy their to the counter and buy their tickets. Yeah. And also you will have to stay a long queue after this, which we stand as well, because you have to scan those tickets as well. So it's better to book tickets in advance and exactly. Those tickets. And yeah. uh, if you want to go to the Zug Speeds at the top, at the plateau, uh, try the glacier barn and also then come to IPC, which is like will be a round trip. It is better for you to buy the 72 euro ticket for an adult. It's a round trip for Zugspeeds. You get to go through all these trains one time, uh, and it's like a round trip. So it's the best best thing you can buy, and it's the cheapest option you have. You also have an option that you can go to Zugspeeds, uh, and you can also go to Altspeeds. Uh, both and these both are two different peaks, but it's not possible in one day. 
for that you have an option of buying this boat tickets like a two day trip and you can stay somewhere in Garmisch itself for one day and then you can go on the other day to other peak that's also possible and can be a two day trip but if you're going on a one day like day us. trip like us it's better to go to uh, Zugspitze and buy this round trip ticket which costs you for 72 euros you can buy it directly from the website or you can also buy it from uh, the DB uh, application Deutsche Bahn application yes and do they have a student discount no they don't have a student student discount there so you have to buy the normal tickets but still it's not so expensive if you are going to book it in advance and also buy the whole ticket for the whole trip exactly so right now we are waiting for our cogwheel train and then see you at the plateau after we waiting for the train for almost 30 minutes we are now sitting in this coffee train the train is very aesthetic and very like yes it feels like uh, they will take you to a trip to a mountain it's very not as authentic but it's very atmosphere, atmosphere of travel yeah, in the mountains more retro. Yeah, yeah yeah exactly it's more retro and now we have a window seat and we are excited to get some view so we will show you also this view yeah My eyes are very wide open because we are in our next stop, which is with snow and cold and very. And we are on the Zug Speed Plateau. We are, we just came outside of this uh, um, cogwheel train, which took us to the Zug Speed Plateau, and we are on the glacier Banor. And this tunnel in the mountain. <laughs> yeah, and it's a long, long tunnel. It's one of the biggest i would say engineering uh, or like this engineering marvel yeah and you can also see how they build it and constructed it uh, there is like tvs a small show yeah and they show a small video displaying about how they do it in the in the train as well and it's very 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 interesting yes and also people yeah, sorry yeah and you, it's like uh, it's like a like a cool experience because you see the pressure difference and you feel this all those things and it's a very long tunnel i mean in, in i think we were in it for like 20 25 minutes and it takes you from the one side of the mountain to the other side yes and you can see how you go through the mountain it's, yeah it's unbelievable like you have to live through this in my opinion and experience it because you can hear from us as well but better just come here and feel this experience also feel this pressure in your ears head eyes exactly and, yeah and it's very interesting to discover something new because also i feel right now more inspired to know more about engineering how this all works because it's very very wise and uh, difficult construction yes and right now we will have to stand in line again to take another uh, a cable car from the called glacier bank ba, glacier ban yeah glacier bank from the glacier ban off which will take us to the top but before that let's put on our jackets yes and, and let's be prepared people are right now i it was interrupted in Maya because people are wearing jackets right now and yeah. we also have to prepare ourselves let's prepare ourselves for winter in the summer let's go so guys in our winter attire <laughs> and right now we are prepared to go out and check it out any means you can spend some time on the plateau but if you don't want to, you can directly hop on the glacier one and go at the top. But we would prefer to spend some time on the plateau and then go ahead. Explore a little bit, feel the winter and for ourselves to a much colder place. Exactly. So let's go. Let's go. Have a look. We are literally in clouds. You can see people trying to go on this glacier there. And there is this whole deck where you can sit and eat something. Bring something. It's wonderful. We are at 2,600 meters above above Germany.
How do you feel? Uh, I feel <laughs> impressed to be honest. <laughs> like it's too cloudy and because of that it's too bright. Yes. And it's like we have to pinch our eyes to look what's going on. Yes, and plus I'm not used to snow anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and you will see there beyond the clouds it's all glacier so you have to be careful when you go there. His cold people look are in shorts and <laughs> you are here like it's oh it's like you have to go this and you can go like there and people are enjoying people are climbing you cannot see anything but it's still fun i think i would like to go there what do yes you like? i would like to go there as well so let's go you have to climb properly Okay. So guys, right now we like spent some time at the plateau and now Climbed we are, a little bit as well. Yes, and took some good pictures. And right now, we are waiting for the glacier bound cable cart, uh, which is here. And this cable cart will take you to the top of the peak. Yes, you can see. Unfortunately, right now uh, the wagon or yeah. what do you call this um, place where you can climb up? Yeah, exactly. uh, because there are clouds. But uh, once we are there, we will show you how it looks. And exactly. Yeah. Unfortunately, today it's quite cloudy and there is a lot of clouds, so we cannot see the view during the see the glacier during while doing this activity. However, if you come and it's not so cloudy, you will be able to see the whole glacier. Yeah, the clouds went away. Yeah. Cool, we are lucky. So guys, we turn out to be lucky because fortunately the clouds have gone away and our cable car is just here. So fortunately we'll be able, able to see the glacier and we'll be able to see the whole view. <laughs> fortunately very lucky I guess. Yes. <laughs> Guys, we are in the cable cart and you can see the glacier is so beautiful. And there on the top you can see the summit. It is a 10 minute cable cart ride and you will get an amazing view if there are no clouds. Fortunately there are no clouds at the moment but there are new ones coming from there so who knows. To the summit we go. Look there, look there. Oh! 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 Finally, we reached this highest peak of Germany. It is 200, 2,965 meters above Germany. Zugspitze, the highest peak in Germany. We are at the top right now. We are at the summit. Uh, you have a restaurant here. If you want, you can sit here and enjoy the panoramic view and eat some food here. You can also enjoy like uh, hot coffee or hot chocolate at a small cafe here and spend your time here and then again you, you have a choice to go down yes unfortunately we have clouds here so we can't see anything yeah and uh, that's what you don't expect from the highest top of germany uh, but still it's a nice um, experience, experience yeah. to be on this and understand that you are on the highest highest peak exactly and you also have to be in speed and the amount of uh, like how high you are and some details written down on like small boards here and you will you will get if there are no clouds and you can see the view clearly you will get an opportunity to see more than 400 peaks of this Alps mountains which is quite a lot quite I would a say. lot and it's amazing from this one point you can see 400 peaks and it's really beautiful yes. however we are unlucky we are unlucky we have to put here sad music yeah. uh, whatever and I think right now we will just go around here explore some uh, different uh, I don't know places points, yeah. points yes also we will look what they serve here in this restaurant yeah and and spend some time here and yeah, then enjoy go down again <laughs> so let's go explore and we will tell you what we uh, what we saw here 
so guys right now you can see a board for information and it shows you how the view looks from this deck however because of clouds we cannot see anything but you can get informations of all the different peaks which you can view from this point and it's quite wonderful also from this deck there I, it's quite unclear because of clouds but there there is a cross which is like a golden cross at the summit which is the highest point so it's quite wonderful that's what you expect to see and that's the reality <laughs> so guys right now we, we are in the cable cart and oh, this change in pressure okay we are in cable cart and it's very crowded and you have to wait if you are the late you have to wait for like 15 minutes for the next one because lots of people will be there going in this cart and if there is one in every 15 minutes so you don't have to worry but yeah once you get in there will be a lot of crowd the latest one is at 4 45 yeah and the last one which which goes from the peak to the bottom is at 4 45 so our head right now is just yeah because of the change in pressure it's it's it's, it's incredible yeah. yeah so right now we'll talk about it once we reach at the bottom see you there okay we are just below the clouds right now and you can see the glacier the mountains and there you can see the Ipsy city it's wonderful view and you can see the clouds above and we were in clouds completely it's breathtaking it's breathtaking How did you like the draw? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I thought we were falling. <laughs> this is auto? Thank you. Look the view from IFC. We were top there, right there at the top, and the mountains look so beautiful. Look at the forest, and you can see the very beautiful IFC right there. So let's go. So guys, right now we came down at IFC and the ride from the top to IFC was crazy. Because we went uh, there and what we experienced? We experienced a little bit like a, a drop. Yeah. A drop. They, they have like a small drop where you will feel like, okay, something went wrong. Ice cream. <laughs> and you're uh, not just uh, lots of them were like screaming for the drop. But of course, like, of course, you know that it's not that, um, not that. Like, unsafe unsafe yeah, yeah. Where nothing you, broke it just yeah. planned <laughs> yeah it was just a planned drop and it gives you like a like a jerk feeling in yeah. your in your yeah. heart like oh <laughs> like this and at the same time since you're going at a very high speed down you'll have a lot of pain in your ears yes, a lot. yeah so you have to be prepared you can just like to avoid it you can use this humming sound in your mouth if you want and it's a bit better but right now we are going to the ifc and it was amazing experience at the top we are again in our summer clothes because it's warm here again we are in the summer <laughs> yeah it's warm it's amazing it's sunny it's beautiful and we yes. are excited yes we are excited with this amazing view actually up there and also we will show you right now a lake exactly we are at one of the most breathtaking places in germany the most famous ipc known for its crystal crystal clear water
guys right now you can see we are near the IFC lake and you can see the water is so clear it's all water and you can see what's inside clearly it's so wonderful yes and I like it a lot and I want to swim in there as soon as possible yeah but first we'll have to eat something and then we'll see we can try boating we can try swimming yes and I think we'll also like here if you look on that side yeah you can see here you can yeah there you can the see view. people are boating there and with a view it's going to be amazing we are so excited we are very very excited so guys right now we are in a restaurant called Z Pavilion which is by the lake you can see the view of the lake and it's really beautiful and we are going to, it's a Bavarian restaurant so you can try all the Bavarian delicacies and we are here about waiting for uh, the waiter to come and take our order yes and we ordered uh, some typical I think Bavarian dishes right yeah. so we ordered roasted pork and ordered some salmon yeah uh, I'm not sure that salmon is Bavarian Bavarian uh, but I think it's uh, delicious and plus it suits uh, the lake yeah exactly to eat some fish here and roast pork it's Bavarian dish so, exactly yeah so we are excited to try it with that we'll order some white wine yeah and we are excited and after that we can go on the lake and we can enjoy our time on the lake from the other side I think. yeah or probably we can also go boating we are not sure but we are excited yes you will see me. So guys right now we just had amazing lunch at uh, z restaurant which is uh, like a deck on the ipc yes okay. and for your attention if you want to uh, ride a boat here or uh, like boat or boat like a yeah, bike boating, let's yeah, say yeah. boating whatever you have to come earlier than us right now I think it's around four and uh, we were already late they were closed so we couldn't ride a boat anymore yeah but if you want to do it you have to come here earlier and then you can do it still I think mm -hmm. around two three it will be fine yeah but later than this you don't have any chance <laughs> so be careful because we had an amazing an amazing lunch but at the same time we missed our boat trip uh, yeah it's it's unfortunate however we'll be going and walking around the ipc right now and we'll be going for your information most of the tourists will be going clockwise because like the restaurants and the directions shows you and it's like a direct view to go there however i would suggest you to go and walk anti-clockwise first of all you will miss the crowd <laughs> second of all the most amazing views of this lake are are from the by the end of the whole walk which you will all only get if you go anti-clockwise yes that's made only for marketing so that you can eat everything exactly on the way like, and then you can see the most beautiful view but you will do absolutely opposite yeah exactly so uh, like if you want to eat or something like this you can go there like eat first and then start anti-clockwise because of course it's a big lake and you cannot walk completely like in yeah. one go yeah so you would you would prefer to like walk like a little bit and then come back so i would suggest you to walk anti-clockwise rather than clockwise yes and again let's see the bottom of the <laughs> exactly and right now we are going for a walk so let's see what we can see and how the trek is yes let's go and i enjoy this trip a lot <laughs> Right now you can see the whole IFC behind us and the mountains behind us. It looks fantastic. Yeah, it's really beautiful and I, as I recommended, go anti-clockwise because it's kind of most beautiful. 
actual views when you go anti clockwise because the in views five, are 5 10 minutes right yeah yeah and in 5 10 min- minutes because if you go like clockwise where all the tourists go you will be not getting the view of this as and you will just see the the island and the uh, the lake yes. but if you go anti clockwise you get this beautiful view and that's worth it and like it a lot let's go We are right now running to our train, but that's exactly. our conclusion from this place. Yeah, so it was an amazing place. Uh, I see. Come here and try to reach here before two. Yeah. And if you manage to reach here before two, or even please, twelve. Yeah, please, please do try to get to a chance to do boating. Boating and also go the whole circle around the lake. Exactly. And explore every corner of this beautiful, amazing place. Exactly. And boating is much recommended. Unfortunately, <laughs> we couldn't. because we were late but yes. please you try to do that because it's much recommended right now we are trying and going back to catch our train which will take us from Ga- ibc again to garmesh so we are rushing yes. you have the last train is at 6:15 don't forget about that i will mention all the details in the caption please do like share and subscribe to dreaming falcon keep watching keep loving dream big fly high dreaming, dreaming falcon, falcon. Bye-bye.